all ships require maintenance and repairs for safe and smooth functioning. When a major repair or overhaul is due, a ship is taken to the dry dock, a service yard, where the ship is brought to dry land for cleaning, inspecting, repairing and painting the submerged parts that are in constant contact with marine water and not visible unless the water is flushed out during maintenance. A dry dock consists of a narrow rectangular basin fully enclosed by concrete walls and a removable lock on the side towards the water inside the impounded dock system. Shama Prashad Mukherjee Port Kolkata being a terminal port has India's largest and the oldest dry dock facilities. Three dry docks at Khidirpur Dock and two at Netaji Shubhash Dock to cater to the diverse repair and maintenance needs of the vessels calling on the eastern ports of India. The dry dock is initially kept completely dry with closed lock gates. Blocks are laid on the floor of the dry dock accurately as per the structural design of the vessel. The dry dock is then flooded with water up to dock basin level by opening the lock gate of the dry dock. With equal water level on either sides, water is then pumped out from the lock's ballast tanks and the lock is lifted and shifted from the entrance of the dry dock. The vessel to be dry docked is then tugged into the flooded dry dock. Water is again pumped into the ballast tanks of the lock when it sits in its closed position. The confined water inside the dry dock is then slowly pumped out while simultaneously lowering the floating vessel and centering it on the laid keel blocks and bilge blocks so that the vessel can sit on the blocks perfectly. Dry docking operations demand meticulous planning in advance. The dry dock is then completely dried to allow men, material and machinery to reach the vessel. The dry docks are equipped with electric cranes for this purpose. Once the repair is complete, to undock the vessel, the side shores or supports are removed and the dock is again flooded up to the basin level to lift and float the vessel gradually. The lock is again descuttled and the vessel is towed out of the dry dock by tugs. The dry dock is then washed, cleaned, dried and kept ready for the next dry docking operation.